Hey guys, it's Sid with SVTPerformance.com. As you can see, we've got our Bronco Raptor back on the dyno. We're at Five Star Tuning in Florence, South Carolina. And today's leg, what we've been waiting for for a very long time, we finally have a full custom tune for our Bronco Raptor. This has been a long time coming because the ECUs on these things are encrypted and just tuning's not been available. So in the meantime, we ran a piggyback device to up the boost, but that is very limited. All it really could do was just add more boost. This can do so much more. It changes shift points. Not only is it uh, adding boost, it adds timing, and it just, it's a full tune. So you guys that's been around for a while know how much better a full tune is. It's from Whipple Superchargers. Yes, Whipple Superchargers makes turbocharger tunes for the EcoBoost. They've got a ton of stuff. You guys have seen us put the Whipple intercooler on. So we're going to test this thing out with 93 octane bone stock. We've put it back to stock other than the, of course the Whipple intercooler and it has a blow off valve from uh, Turbo Smart and the catch cam, but none of that stuff really is going to make any difference on the dyno. The intercooler makes a difference out on the road. Even though we have some fantastic fans here on the dyno at Five Star and they work really well still there's no uh, substitute for being out on the road but we're going to run our stock put the Whipple tune in run it and then just to make things a little extra spicy see if there's anything else left on the table we've got a can of professional strength boosting throw a little bit in the tank got about 10 gallons in it right now so uh, probably about half a can or so dose it up and that'll get us the most we're possibly going to get out of just a tune so uh Let's spin the rollers and see how she does stock. So running it in stock form, she made about 367 horsepower and 403 pound-feet of torque, which this thing has about 5,500 miles on it, fresh oil change, all that good stuff. So she's well broken in now, but that sort of backs up what we've been seeing as we've modded this thing along. If you guys want to see our full process on this, look back on the channel. We've got a ton of videos with this, but that's about what we expected. So uh, let's go ahead and load up that uh, Whipple tune with Whipple's Tomahawk tuning device and uh, give it another run. So Whipple's Tomahawk tuning device is very simple to use. All you have to do is plug it in, pull your stock file off, send it to Whipple. They will write you your custom tune based on your VIN number, send it back to you. You put that in your device, plug your device into the OBD2 port again, follow the instructions, upload it, and there you go, you're tuned. So with the Whipple tune loaded up and 93 octane intake, we made a few more runs. She made 419.5 horsepower and about 470 pound-feet of torque. Those are peak numbers, but the real story is the power it makes under the curve. We'll show you guys that in just a few minutes, but first we're going to put a little bit of Boostain in and then see what it'll make. And a big thanks to Ian at Boostain. He gave us a can of this stuff to throw in the Bronco to see what it'll do. If there's anything left in this tune, the Boostain will find it. Mix it up. So you can tell it's pollen season here in South Carolina. It's got the NyQuil to keep you alive and the yellow dust everywhere. But we ran it with some boostane and basically what we found is just about 
the tune is pretty much maxed out on 93. You're going to get a little bit because we picked up between 419 and a half up to 423 with the boost and picked up about another two or three pound feet of torque. And you can see that at the top of the graph. It just carried it out a little bit longer. And what that is, is basically it's running just a little bit more timing. You do have a little bit more here, but the story is really this difference right here between stock and the tuned version. That gap is enormous. So here's where the meat of the story really lies. As you can see, power under the curve, it's not just about to peak. We're gaining about 70 pound-feet of torque and around 45 horsepower at 3,000 RPMs, which is huge, and it just carries that everywhere. So if you go all the way up to, say, peak horsepower, which is gonna be right at almost 6,000 RPMs, you're talking a difference of, wow, over 100 horsepower right there because the stock tune really starts to fall over at about 5,700 RPMs. It starts to fall off the Whipple tune, keeps carrying out. It is leveling off up here at the top, but that's an enormous difference. And if you guys are wondering why you have this little dip right here, same thing in the stock file. This is probably cap protection mode or something like that kicking in in the tune. It's a limiter just trying to keep things safe. So Whipple keeps it as well. Like I said, it's probably trying to protect catalytic converters. It could be pulling timing, closing the throttle, could be anything. So uh, that's just a normal function of the ECU trying to keep everything safe. But I mean, just check out uh, this difference at 3000 RPMs, I think is just ridiculous right there. You know, you're looking 70, 80 pound feet of torque right there and 45 horsepower. And it just carries that kind of difference out all the way around. You're still over 60 pound feet of torque more than stock at 4,000 RPM. So huge, huge difference with the Whipple tune. We're definitely going to feel that, but we're not done yet. So we're not just going to dino queen this thing. We're going to head to the track. So let's see what it does on the quarter mile now. Well, it's the next morning and after getting off the rollers at Five Star Tuning, which by the way, if you guys are interested in one of these Whipple Tomahawk tuners for your Bronco Raptor or any of the applications that Whipple makes these things for, which there's a bunch of them, especially EcoBoost stuff, you can get it from Five Star Tuning. So hit them up if you're interested in it. But after we got off the dyno there, we headed over to Darlington Dragway. We had kind of a long night there. Uh, there was just a lot going on as far as grudge races because that's what they do on wednesday and saturday nights if you guys are looking for a good time go out there and watch some big money grudge racing but uh you know a lot of times it takes a lot of time to get the test and tune stuff through the uh staging lanes that's kind of what we ran into so while waiting to make our hit we basically ran 40 minutes on the gopros and we didn't get a whole lot of footage that uh, we could use so is what it is we got a few videos we can show you but we did manage to get three runs so let's go and uh, take a look at the time sheet slips we have here we did all the runs in four-wheel drive in sport mode with uh, traction control off and before we left five star we did actually put our horsepower numbers and our weight and all that kind of stuff all these runs were done at full weight by the way didn't take spare tire off nothing so uh with our power figures and kind of the weather we were looking at probably about a 13.8 being what this thing was going to run and these things bronco raptor is not exactly a quarter mile vehicle but you know i like having fun with my stuff so that's what i'm going to do with it uh they run mid to high 14 stock that's what i'm seeing with low 90 mile an hour uh, trap speeds so what did we do
first hit out we ran a 14.2 at 96 miles an hour so we're basically a half second better than what a lot of the magazines have run with these things this was leaving at like 28 2900 rpms and as you can see in the video footage we do have this thing just it it jumps as it comes out of the hole and as it jumps it settles down and then jumps sort of again and anybody that's familiar with drag racing knows when you do this kind of stuff that is wasted energy going down the track what you want is just squat and go not hop hop go so there's definitely more on the table there the next run out we played with our rpms a little bit more And this was our best run of the night. We ended up with a 13.9 at 98 miles an hour. And we still had some of that hop going on. You know, a little bit less because I dropped the RPMs I launched at uh, just a little bit. But you gotta kind of find a sweet spot. With this thing with soft suspension, even in sport mode, it just wants to undulate. It's not made to drag race, so kind of what to expect. But when we decided to drop the RPMs down to like 2000 that wasn't enough it just sort of just easily took off we ended up running a 14.0 at 97 and if you compare that to our best run it's all in the 60 foot time we're a tenth slower in the 60 foot time there so that's where all that is made up it's all right off the launch so i think if we kept playing with the launch on the thing we could get it down to the 13.8 and honestly i think there's even more left in it if we keep playing with down pipes and stuff like that which we're planning on doing in the future i think there's plenty more left in this thing i know not everybody's going to drag race with it it's not exactly made for that but i like to have fun with my stuff and i enjoy going to the track so that's what i'm going to do uh at the end of the day we knocked basically a second off what i think motor trend ran in a quarter mile with uh, their Bronco Raptor test vehicle and picked up like eight or nine miles an hour. So the thing rolls out pretty good for what it is. I mean, you're talking like an almost 6,000 pound SUV with a three liter V6. It's got a, you know, 180 something cubic inches to work with, 190, who knows? but I mean, small engine, even though you got the turbos, man, that Whipple tune, it's making some power. The shift points are on point uh in sport mode you get a little bit firmer shifts but i'm not going to go into all of that right now because it does change a lot of driving dynamics i'm going to do a full driving review where you ride around and we talk about it like i do with all the stuff we test on the channel so if you want to see that definitely subscribe if you have any questions about what went into this i've got the link in the description below right down there Head over to svtperformance.com. I have an article and we've got pictures and all the dyno sheets and everything. All the details are right there. So if you have any questions, head over there and post it up on svtperformance.com. I'll personally answer it. I'll do my best to get the information for you. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, that's the place to ask it. I can't really write big long answers on YouTube comments and they're not searchable. So it's just not the best place to answer a complicated question. You wanna answer it somewhere where it's there for everybody on into the future. So that's why we do all that stuff on svtperformance.com. The, like I said, the link's in the description below. If you have anything you wanna know, head over there. But hey, it was a fun night out. We made a lot of power. We uh, nearly broke a Camaro's owner's heart, which that's always fun for a Ford owner. So what can I say? Great time. Really enjoying this Whipple tune and I can't wait to play with it even more. And one final note, this is not the last time you're going to see this Bronco Raptor or this Whipple Tomahawk tuning device. I've been talking to Dustin and the guys over at Whipple. They may tweak this tune just a little bit more based on the feedback that uh, we're sending them. 
So, like I said, this is a very, very early release. I think this is the first one that's out in the wild. Now, there's one or two more in California that Whipple used to develop this tune on. But East Coast driving style, East Coast fuels, we got a little bit better. I'm running 93 versus their 91 octane. And this is sort of an adaptable tune that can take up that difference in octane rating. So, uh, it can add a little bit more timing, things like that. But like I showed you on that graph, there's that little dip at the top. We might be able to get that out. We might be able to do a few more things with the transmission. I'm gonna send my information and stuff that I have back to the guys at Whipple. They'll do their work and you might be seeing this out at the drag strip again in the not too distant future. So if you wanna see that kind of stuff and see how all this develops power wise, head over to svtperformance.com and hit the subscribe button. We always like it when you guys do that. I appreciate all the support. And big thanks to Whipple, Five Star Tuning, Ian over at Boostane, everybody that helped make this possible. Thanks.